Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to Millennial Farms. Folks, we are finishing up planting today. And to be honest, we're not going to need the 1890 anymore, the 9RT. We could put these away for the season, clean these up, get them prepped for next year. But they're done. We're done with these. We've got one more field to plant today. And today we're planting soybeans. We got some money beans to plant. And today it's going to be a little bit different. We're not planting the whole thing. We've got some test test seeds to plant uh, we got some meatness out in the field, but before we got some work to do before we get out there, so we better get to work before we're late as as usual. Let's do this thing. Pitter batter. <laughs> All right, folks. So we just got off the horn with uh, well our seed guy, and he's going to be meeting us out in the field shortly. But we've got to get things prepped before we can meet him out there. I've got the 1770 here in the shop. And we're just disconnecting, well, the, the big seed tanks at the top here. And instead, we're going to be using just, we'll just use the seed pods on each one of the uh, the heads here, folks. And instead, you know what, we're just going to feed in some seed from each of these different crops. And uh, we'll see and do a test on which seed works best for us today. We've got a few different options. So, yeah, we've just disconnected all this and everything's getting hooked up right now. Pretty much done here. But before we can kind of get out in the field, guys... I want to get out there and just kind of till that ground up a little bit. It's uh, it's a little settled over there, so we do need to till it up a little bit before we plant. I want to make sure we give this the best options possible and kind of balance it out as much. So to do that, we've got the 8R all ready to go. We've got that chisel plow back there ready to go as well. And we'll just head over there and quickly uh, dig in. Now, unfortunately, the field we're going to, folks, it's the last field we got to work on. It's not nothing, nothing crazy. I think we have about 40 acres over there. But it is a bit of a trek. It's, it's on the opposite side of the county for us, so... Uh, you know what? It's going to take us a little bit of a drive, even with the 8R. Yeah, we're going to have to drive back and forth a couple times today, but that's okay. It's I don't mind trucking when we're when we're driving the 8R. Uh, we'll see if we can get maybe Gertie to come give us a hand later on. We're going to need someone to take the 6, uh, 6175 over with us just to be able to move some pallets around. So we'll probably have to take that with us at some point. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. Anyways, let's get rocking and rolling here. We'll take the 8R. Go for a drive. Let's jump on in. You know, we've been getting a lot of a lot of time in the 8R this summer, guys. We've actually been getting a lot of use out of this tractor, which is kind of nice. I was expecting to get more the 9R, uh, the RT back. Well, back there. I was expecting to get more use out of that, but we only used that for, I think, one or two fields. You know what? Just didn't get a lot of use out of it. But the 8R, we've been still, you know what? We're getting quite a few miles on her. Uh, put a lot of a lot of field time in it, that's for sure. All right, let's get rocking and rolling here. We'll get across and over to the other far side, and uh, we'll start digging into that field. Let's go. See, that wasn't so bad. Um, we've already been in the field for a couple hours here, just finishing off this last little pass. I got some more left to, to clean up. You can see here, but guys, yeah, we're looking, we're doing pretty good here. I mean, things are good. I just saw, I just saw the truck pull up. I think we got a flat deck with our seed sitting over by those silos over there. Uh, we're gonna head that way next. But uh, just a nice another bluebird day out here for the most part. I mean, we've got some scattered clouds, but guys, this has been a great spring for planting. Now, if we can get a little bit of rain, uh, I think that'll be perfect. Not too much, just a little bit. And then uh, some nice, uh, some long, long heat weather days. Heat weather days? He said, what? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Some nice long Sundays uh, later on this in the summer and into the fall. I think this could be a really good year. I don't know, maybe, is there is there a chance we could get a bumper crop off any of this stuff? We do have the one soybean field that went in awfully early last, well, went in last fall. It seemed to have made it, so I'm curious to see what happens with that. But we've got to get this stuff off. Well, we've got to get this stuff planted first. All right, let me just bring this around the corner. We'll come back down this home stretch, guys. We'll see what we get for the seed. We've got three different varieties this year. Uh, we'll plant them in maybe, we'll do a couple swaths of each and uh we'll see how much we get off it come harvest time but we'll talk more about that once we get to that point we'll see what we can do but i gotta go back to uh the main field or back to the main shop there and grab the uh what is it we're gonna grab the 8rt we'll grab that planter and uh, we'll get in here at 1770 and then we should be good so you know what it's not gonna take us too long to get through this we're not planting the whole field for the most part uh we're gonna be missing some 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 definitely some rows here we're gonna be missing but uh it's this is just gonna be our test field for the year and see exactly what kind of soil and what seed works best for us out here it's going to be kind of interesting i'm hoping uh i'm hoping we find something that's better than what we've been doing so far that being said i mean we were getting quite a bit last year with that that bean harvest we did last year guys it's gonna to be tough to beat that oh there he is right there yep right there right there right there cool 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 so i'm gonna finish this up let's uh wrap this up we're all wrapped up here lift on up Get it wrapped up, and we'll see what he's got here. Uh, we'll have, you know what? There's not much point in us looking too closely at this. We gotta head back to the farm, anyways, and grab uh, 
the rest of our equipment. I'll see if Gertie's around. Maybe she can drive out uh, drive out the 6, 6175. We're going to need that as well. Oh, there we go. Nice. All ready to go. It must be over at the uh, the ice cream shop just down the corner here. That was quick. There we go. All the way back in. Let's, uh, we'll leave this right here. we got to clean this all up anyway, so we'll leave it right here for now. But uh, let me go grab the keys for the RT, and uh, we'll get into the next field. But we shouldn't be. We should be good to go here, guys. There we go. Let's jump on in. Guys, I love knowing this is the the end of our planting season. Uh, it's it's just it's good to know that we're gonna get everything in the ground this year without any issues. It's not even really a rush to the end here, or not a rush to the finish. We got lots of fuel. Yeah, we're good. Let's pull this on out. Uh, I'm gonna run into the house quickly and see if Gertie's sitting there. And uh, I need someone to take the 6175 over as well. Oh, actually, oh, before we grab her, I forgot. We need to uh, put the forks on. Gotta take the bucket off. Forks on, bucket off. There we go. That's better. In fact, I still got the, the weight on the back, so that's going to help things out as well. All right, let's go get Gertie. All right, I think she's good to go. She's going to follow us over, and I really just need that to help load some of the uh, those pallets off that flat deck. It's the only thing we need that for. It doesn't help to have the extra, the extra hands, extra arms, extra legs, I guess, there to, to move some stuff around. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how much use she is. But let's get back over to the field. Uh, our seed guy's probably been sitting there waiting for like the last hour. I feel kind of bad, but he showed up early. He showed up early. It's not my fault. Oh, Gertie blew my doors off on the way here. That uh, 6175 is super quick. I forgot about how fast that tractor is. Um, and I think she saw the seed guy and, well, there goes my help for the day. They're both over at the ice cream shop now. You know what? I, I don't want to know. I really don't. Uh, anyways, to start off with, we're going to need to open this up so I can have access to everything. Uh, we'll just open this up. Yeah, we'll open it up right now. I'll, I'll do it right now. And uh, we'll see if we can get access to all these pods a little easier that way. Lift up, lift up, lift up. There she goes. And that slides down. And perfect. All right. So this should give us access to all the pods at least. It'll make it a little bit easier for us. And then uh, we'll just go grab some seed here. I, I got to figure out which kinds we got. Let's go back and take a look on that flatbed. Yeah, so like I said, we've got three different brands. Uh, we've got a couple from Pioneer. We've got one in these big bags, which is a little bit different than we have all the seed bags here. We could probably just hand bomb these in one at a time, but uh, I'll take a whole pallet off. And then lastly, uh, well, we've got the Millennial Farmer Special right here as well. Look at that. The yeah, little Millennial Farmer Special soybeans. Perfect. Should be good. So we'll try, uh, we'll try a couple passes of each of these. Let me get, uh, we'll start off, let's start off with the Pioneer Seed, uh, the bags over here. We'll start with these, and then we'll move our way down. Let me go grab uh, the 6R. You know what, let me get these straps off here first. Boom, and grab that 6175, and we'll start loading. I wasn't really planning on having to do this myself. Thanks, Gertie. Thanks for that. Um, that's all right. Let's get to work on this. We'll just get these, we'll get a pallet off, and uh, we'll see if we can maybe hand bomb them each bag in there. The tough one is really going to be that big bag. Uh, how are we going to load each one of those in individually? That, I don't really know. We'll have to take a look at that later. But for now, we'll just start with uh, just these individual bags. We'll get a pallet off here. If I don't puncture it first. There we go. Lift that up nice and easy. We know we got the weight on the back, so we're not really worried about that. Overweighing us, at least. Um, in fact, when we were Gertie past me, she was wheeling through the field with this thing. I mean, look at the back tire sinking into the ground over here. Wow. All right, you know what? I'm just going to put this over on the grass here just so it's kind of out of the way. That looks better. Drop this down on in. And perfect. All right, guys. That looks good. That looks good. Let me uh, let me go start filling up each of these individually, and uh, we'll see if we can get, you know, each one of those pods right full. Oh, man. Let's see if I can f grab one of these bags with the camera in one hand and <laughs> seed bag in the other. Uh and dump in the last. We got four left to do here. Just get that one there. And down the end. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That looks good. That looks good. And last two. All right. All right, guys. That, oh, oh. All right. There we go. All right. That should uh, that should about do us. I think we're we're full up on that Pioneer seed. So let me go set up our GPS. And we'll set up how many rows we're going to do of each of these. And then uh, get to work. Let's jump on in. All right, guys. So let's see if I can set this up right. Uh, I don't want to plant on our first row over on the left there just because, well, you get the field edge then. And, you know, the field edge is always a little susceptible to not being as uh, as good of an area. So I want to make sure that we're, we're doing our best to, to give this the, the, the equalest chance as possible. Let me turn this uh, GPS back on. Okay. That's set up. Let's drop this head down. Pull us ahead just a touch. And we should be able to get planting here. All right, let's go. There we go. All right, beans going down. So 
my plan here, folks, is I think we'll do maybe four passes of each. So we got three, so it'll be 12 passes. Look at me doing the math. Uh, we'll do 12 passes in total. We'll do four of each. So there and back uh, twice, I guess. There and back, we're there each way once. Now we're getting to, yeah, don't, don't, don't listen to me. Anyways, we'll do, uh, we'll do 12 passes in total, four passes of each type of bean, and we'll see what we get out of this. The, the, yeah, we, we're put, uh, putting down the exact same amount, so we should be, it should be interesting to see what kind of yield we're going to get, how many bushels per acre we'll get off each of these, but uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and find out, folks. But anyways, I'm kind of excited to see this. This is fun. All right, let me uh, spin this around right when we get to the end here. And right back to work once again. We'll see if we can get these leveled right off. Looks good right about there. Drop that back in and back down the far side again. All right, there we go. So what do we plan that? Uh, where is our speedo on this thing here? Oh, 18 kilometers per hour. Never mind. I thought it was in miles on this one, but no. Yeah, that's, that seems a little fast, to be honest. Uh, 18 miles per hour at 30 kilometers. Uh, so that's roughly 11 miles per hour. I, I think it's a bit on the fast side. We better slow this down just a, a touch. Get her back down to nine, six, maybe. I don't know. That seems a little quick to be planned. That's for sure. All right, last pass here. Let me turn the GPS back on. Now, I said we we're gonna do four. I decided to one up. We're gonna go. We're gonna do five passes. Uh, we originally had four different seeds to, to try out, so. That's why I plan on doing uh, four passes originally, or yeah, yeah. Anyways, now we don't have that, so I don't really need to worry about that. We've only got the three different seed varieties to this time, so uh, I think we're better off. We'll, we'll get an extra pass in, and we'll just get that much more product, of course. So that makes a little bit more sense, and we should have plenty of, of space on this field. Uh, so each one's going to have roughly well, we're a, little, we're a little less than forty acres. Plus, we're cutting off the very back side of this field, so well, you can do the math on that. But you're looking probably roughly a little less, a little bit more than 10 acres uh, per each one of these uh, these test crops. We'll see how this works out, guys. All right, let's head on back over to the truck and uh, we'll refill these pods with, well, our other seed varieties. There we go. Done. Perfect. Up she goes. And away we go. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit more of a pain since uh, it's in the big bag format. I've got a, a bucket. Um, does he have it in the back of the truck here? I have it in the back of the truck. I've got to find that bucket. Anyways, we're just going to lift this up. I'm going to empty out some into a bucket and we'll just hand feed them in there. That, that's the only way I can really do this efficiently. Unfortunately, the bags were a little bit easier because you can hand bomb each one of the individual bags in. But when you got the big bag like that, you know, it's not like I'm going to sit there with a the tractor and try to fill each one of the pods individually. That seems um, like a lot of work. All right, lift that on up. Get this off the truck. I think we'll just put this kind of like right in behind for now. Yeah, we can just set like right here. Let me get this so it's high enough so I'm not bending over all awkwardly the whole time. Perfect. All right. That can stay right there for now. Lock that off. Hopefully those hydraulics hold. And uh, we'll just get a bucket. And like I said, guys, we're going to fill each one of these individually. All right. All right. I think we're good to go once again. Man, you know what? It's a good thing we didn't plant this uh, this one right here. This is this actually worked out perfect. It's a good, like a little staging area for us. So there's still lots of seed left in that bag. We'll leave that alone for now. That can, you know what? That can just stay there. I'll get back to it. It'd be nice if I had some help. Where the heck did Gertie get to? I'm telling you. Like, I, can, I only plant for like, it takes me 15 minutes to plant the section. And then it takes me an hour to redo all this stuff. Meanwhile, there she's sitting over there having her ice cream. It's ridiculous. And for my plant, I'm just going to leave one, uh, one width of this planter between each one of these crops. We could cut that down a lot, but that's all right. We'll just leave one width. That's totally fine. Uh, that'll give us enough space, and then we can actually move equipment around later on. We get to harvesting as well, which will just once again save me a little bit of sanity, uh, especially when we got Gertie. You never know, right? Fire that up. All right, second seed inbound. This is out of our our uh, what is it? The big bag variety? Yeah, big bag variety. We'll give that a test. But like I said, folks, I could have I could have definitely put this in a bit further, but it's just nice to have the space. And for the amount of seed we're going to put in the ground, that's all right. All right, last, last seed to test out uh, this one here. We'll find out if this is any better or not. But uh, last one to test, guys. And uh, we'll look this all back up. You know what? Things are going pretty smoothly so far. The planters aren't having any problem with these seeds. Conditions, to be honest, are just perfect right now. Just perfect. Let's even grab that. Come on. Grab on there. Let's get this off. Oh, I might have just punctured a bag. There we go. All right. Let's drop this on off. We'll put this right in behind here. And uh, we'll start loading up, folks. But 
should be good. This is going to take us another hour or so. Uh, we'll get this back. And then, of course, from here, we'll head home. But last, you know what? This is the last time. This is the last part of the field, guys. We're done after this. This is all it is. Spring seeding, spring planting. She's over. All right, folks, last pass. There we go. This is the very last pass on this field that we'll be doing this year. Well, last pass, pass we're planting this year looks like as well. We're looking right up to the edge. You know what? My my math didn't quite work out as well as I hope. I thought we would be probably another 10 feet from the edge of this field. I wonder if I measured like right to the road. I wonder if I did that by accident. Because there's that. Maybe that's what I did. Anyways, I kind of messed that up. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, 8R is doing really good here. 8RT, I should say, is we're almost up to the, the end here, folks. It's been running like a champ, but it's time we give this thing a break, I think. Give her a scrub down. So uh, we'll head back over to the farm. We'll get this stuff cleaned up. Oh, back at the farm, but I think that is going to do it for us today, folks. Uh, we're going to clean some tractors up and get ready just for summer. We've got some spraying to do, but our planting is done. We're looking all good here. Everything is coming together. Oh, boy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys know what to do. Slap that like, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, where's Gertie? Is she, how far back is she? Like I said, the 6175 here, she trucks by comparison to the 9RT. Oh, here she comes. Anyways, guys, uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time with Gertie on Millennial Farms. This is Clutch, over and out.